guys has here at shield canine i'm going to show you guys today our new dog transport van well new newish okay we've had it for about a month anyways um it's really awesome uh really like using this compared to our old setup our old setup was actually um a four dog wt metal dog trailer um, and there's a number of reasons why we went from the trailer to the van, um, which I will talk about. And I'll show you the dog trailer too. Anyways, this is a Transit T250. It's the mid-size Transit. You can get one a little bit bigger if you want it. For us, this is plenty. Um, we have eight crates in here and you can easily put 10 if you want, maybe even 11 um, if you're smart about everything. Um, so obviously four crates in the back in a bank and then we've got four intermediate crates in the front. Um, and I've got two water toppers on the top. <laughs> And uh, we are going to, I'm going to fix this. They're a little bit out of alignment, so I do have to fix that and, and, and change that. Anyways, the water toppers, for those of you wondering, they carry quite a bit of water in here. And you can put some dog training gear and stuff up here. So nice little storage compartment. Um, we've got AC, obviously, in the front and heat in the front. And then I've got a backup AC unit uh, on the roof, or I should say a primary AC unit. Now, the roof AC is a little bit uh, interesting. We bought this. This is the type of AC that you would get um, in a camper, ca or, or sorry, not a camper, in a uh, truck cab, like a transport truck that you would have if you're sleeping in the in the transport. Um, so it's a 9,000 BTU, which is a little bit smaller than you would normally get um, for like an RV or something. But the 9,000 BTU is 12 and 24 volts, and it is hooked up to three deep discharge batteries. So we get five, six hours of um, air conditioning if that thing's running continuously on a full charge and because they're deep discharge we can run them all the way out and uh, we're not going to mess them up and they are hooked up to shore power overnight so we always have a nice full charge if we're using the AC which we are actually going to start using very shortly now um, obviously when you're coming up with a dog transport vehicle so for us we don't do like a lot of long trips or overnight this is like you know brief quick hauls where we take you know seven eight dogs into town do some training and then come back so we're not like leaving the vehicle for long periods of time so obviously that affects our setup a little bit um you know if you're going to do some overnights and stuff like this you might change some things about how you're you're doing things but for the most part these are quick um short trips with a, a bunch of dogs get get our training done and then get out um so that's our setup now for us Heat is not a problem. So in the winter time, yeah, it's gonna get cold. Guess what? You put some straw in there, um, you know, you button everything up. You've got sunlight coming in through those windows. If it's daytime generating a lot of heat in the vehicle, you've got eight dogs sharing body heat in the vehicle. You know, it's easy enough to turn on the uh, heat and uh, you'll be fine like that. Um, you know, just the heat uh, from the cab, from the, uh, from the cab, you know, if you've got the, the the vehicle on, will be enough even in the most frigid temperatures to keep the dogs, um, you know, safely warm. The big thing always is worrying about not them not getting too hot because that's the real killer, right? So a lot of people mistakenly assume that just because dogs, you know, it's the thing now, right? Dogs in hot cars, right? It's the big thing. Everybody's all worried about it. Look. The, go the dog in the car isn't the problem. The dog in a car with no airflow and the windows up is a problem. So if you've got your car set up like this with the doors open, obviously you can have your dog even on the most hot day in here and, and they will be fine. They might be panting, but yes, your dog can pant and survive. It's okay. Um, you know, a little bit of, a little bit, uh, of heat doesn't kill them. It's the lack of airflow. Um, and then like really extreme temperatures caused by, you know, windows that are up kill them. But of course, in today's society, you cannot leave dogs in many places like this because people will either try to steal your dogs or rescue them. And neither of those things is good, especially with the kind of dogs that we often have. So the solution obviously is we have to close everything, but then how do we cool it? Well, we have that AC unit that I showed you guys, the Be Cool. I think it's called Be Cool. Yes, Be Cool Green Power AC. These guys are in British Columbia, very nice guy to deal with. Uh, you know, he sent that AC unit, it took us about a week to get here. And um, you know, it runs very well um, and it runs off the deep discharge batteries. The other thing that we did was we put a Viper alarm in the vehicle. And what the Viper alarm does is it has a temperature control function. So what you can do is you can set the Viper alarm to wake up every so often let's say every 15 minutes and check the cabin temperature with a sensor that's in the Viper alarm. It is under the dash, but that's okay. I mean, look, we're going to put shades up in the window in the summertime when we're parked and um, you know, the Viper alarm will check the temperature. And if we're above a certain point, so let's say we set the threshold to 25, it'll turn the vehicle on. And obviously we'll have the AC set to a high, 
high level. So let's say somebody messes with the vehicle, maybe the, 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 the air conditioning dies for whatever reason, we have a fail safe now where the vehicle AC itself will turn on um, if, if the temperature gets too hot. And of course, we're coming back to the vehicle every, you know, generally 15, 20 minutes anyways. So, you know, there's, it's, 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 there's, there's a lot of fail safes there. So, you know, we're making sure that the, obviously the dogs don't overheat. Um, we've got the hydration taken care of. We've got the temperature taken care of. We can fit eight dogs in here. You can fit all sorts of supplies. Obviously you can see all the space for supplies. If you want to bring bite suits and bite sleeves and e call whatever, whatever you want to bring along, you can bring along. Um, and we really like this. And the reason I left the WT metal dog trailer is a number of reasons number one safety I was always nervous about towing a trailer behind my vehicle all it takes is one person to rear end you and you've got a number of dead dogs on your hand which is not a good thing so that was one number two unfortunately there are some idiots out there in the world which is no news I'm sure to anybody and um, I find that people really bothered me a lot with the trailer as opposed to this thing I mean I shouldn't say that because I did have somebody bother me a couple days ago I we had parked right and uh, I'd taken a dog out and we were walking. I was walking off with the dog. And of course, there's always a dog in the, in the crate barking or whatever because they're upset that they didn't get to go. So the dog's sounding off in the crate. Some lady sees me leave and she walks up. She has the nerve to walk up to my van, peer in the window and start, are they okay in there? Well, what do you think? Like, what do you really think? Like, use your brain. Exert yourself just a little bit. Use your brain. Do you think they're okay? Does this look like an accident to you? Does it look like I didn't do any of this on purpose when you look at this setup? Does it look like, you know, I'm some confused individual that doesn't know that, you know, leaving my dog uh, in a vehicle in an improper manner uh, might result in injury to the dog? Does it really look like that? Because if it does, sure, maybe we can have a convo. But obviously, this, none of this is an accident. So have a brain. Anyways... I was, I just looked at her. I'm at the point now where, you know, I just looked at her and I said, like, I was like, no, they're all dying. And then I just turned around and walked away. You know, I called the, P the SPC. I don't care. Anyways, point being, if you see my van, please don't mess with it. Thank you very much. Um, I will show you guys a dog trailer. And um, like I said, it's actually a really nice dog trailer. Okay. So this is my WT metal four dog dog trailer. They make these in Germany and he's a little TLC because it's been sitting for a little bit. But as you can see, sometimes we put dogs in here. Um, as you can see, we got two doors, which I really like. Um, you know, it's fiberglass, it's insulated. Um, we have uh, we have two fans in it, exhaust fans, so they they pull air out of out of the unit, and it can keep dogs cool really in any weather. I've used it in really hot weather. Doors all buttoned up, everything's fine. Um, but yeah, it's a fantastic vehicle um, for transporting dogs. Again, I got a lot of idiots bothering me. You know, they hear the dogs bark. Are they okay in there? I always say to them, instead of responding to them, instead of giving them the time of day, I always be like, um, no, they're not okay. I mean, and then if they persisted, I'd be like, really? Look at this thing. Does it look like an accident to you? It's obviously custom built, not slapped together in my backyard like that piece of junk. And I didn't make that, by the way. <laughs> That's my very first dog trailer. And actually, yeah, I shouldn't call it a piece of junk. It's actually really good. It's fully insulated. Um, again, you know, it, it, it did a lot of good work for me. But this thing is obviously on another level. Very expensive unit. They make these in Germany for the transportation of working dogs, okay, and sport dogs. Fantastic unit. Works great. Um, four dogs. We used this for a long time. But like I said, it always made me nervous leaving it in a parking lot and stuff like that. So I only use it for my own personal competition dogs now. And the reason why I use it for my personal competition dogs is because I don't care if anyone wants to try to rescue them or, you know, steal them. It's going to be a bad day for them. So, you know, do that at your own risk. Has a nice little water pump in it. So, again, we got the water situation taken care of. We got the heat situation taken care of. We got the coolness. I didn't mention the heat. I use this. I, I once went on a road trip to, like, Iowa. Well, not once. I've done it twice. Minnesota and Iowa, like negative 40, you know, horrendous weather. You put some straw in here and it's perfect, guys. Like the dogs come out real warm. You put your hand in there. It's nice and warm. So, I mean, I wouldn't do it with a Doberman, but like, you know, your average German Shepherd do fine in really cold temperatures in here. And in the heat, it's great. It works fine. So anyways, just a little bit about the... Uh, dog trailer because i did tell you guys i'd show you so anyways i'm really happy with the van love the van couldn't recommend it enough um obviously it's a lot more expensive than running a dog trailer um but uh yeah so that's our van and also our dog trailer 
Oh, I forgot to mention, guys. Like, subscribe, comment below, follow us on Instagram. Um, and don't ask me about the brand of crates. I will not talk about them. You know, I, I, I when, when I was going to make it, because I have a lot of those crates, in case you haven't noticed, um, even more than what you see here. Uh, when I was going to make a huge order from these guys, I was like, I sent them an email. I said, hey, look, got a YouTube channel, so on and so forth. If you want me to talk a little bit about your product, send me a little, uh, you know, coupon code or something I can share with my followers, whatever, whatever else you want to sponsor us, you know, get, we'll promote you. But they didn't even have the courtesy to reply back. It's not that they have to say yes. It's just that a reply back would be nice. So anyways, I refuse to name them. I'm sure you can figure out who they are. Um, and I do have a lot of their stuff. Um, but there are other guys out there that make good stuff too. So anyways, thanks for watching guys. Have a good one.